Welcome on board Walk to Work Vessel, Actor Orion. This is a short familiarization to make your stay on board our vessel as comfortable and safe as possible. Our vessel, serviced late 2015, has been especially designed to offer comfortable accommodation and working space for 80 passengers. It will be deployed during the construction and maintenance of wind farms at sea. A removable boat landing. Two fixed boat landings on port and starboard side for CTV landing. A constant tension knuckle boom crane. And a motion compensated gangway make our vessel fully equipped to transfer personnel and equipment. We offer accommodation for 80 guests in 60 cabins that are spread across decks 2 to 6. On deck 1A you will find the cinema, a sauna and the gym. On deck 6 we have two conference rooms, a number of offices and a day room. Deck 4 is where you will arrive on board of the actor Orion. There you are to proceed to the reception area. The entrance is situated on port side upper deck. This area includes the reception itself, the duty mess where hot and cold drinks are available, changing room where wet clothing can be dried during your rest hours, personal locker room and the ship's hospital. In this area you are allowed to wear PPE. When signing in at reception it is necessary to present your passport as this is required by immigration regulations. At reception you will receive a key card which gives you access to your appointed room. A personal locker with the same number as your room will also be appointed. The locker is situated in the changing room next to reception on starboard side. Here you can hang your PPE since in most parts of the ship PPE is not allowed. Wet clothing and boots can be dried in the dry room. Coveralls that need cleaning are collected from the bin in the changing room. Once cleaned, they will be available again in the changing room. The first digit of your keycard tells you on which deck your room is located. In your room there is a phone, which can be used to call another room or one of the offices. See the list of numbers next to the phone. The bridge is only to be called in an emergency. In your room you will also find the ship's safety plan, safety information leaflet and the muster list. Please take note. We have a zero-tolerance policy for drugs and alcohol. In your room you will find a linen bag for your personal laundry. You can drop these off at the laundry. It will be returned to your cabin within 24 hours, washed and dry. The doors make a very loud noise when they close. Please close the door by gently guiding the door to the closed position, as demonstrated. This will be appreciated by other guests in the vicinity. The vessel is equipped with watertight sliding doors in between different compartments. These can be activated at the door itself or from the bridge. When the door alarm is active, it is absolutely forbidden to pass through this door. These doors are only to be operated by marine crew. The mess room is accessible during meal times only. Times are shown at the reception desk and at the mess room entrance. When entering the mess room, work shoes, coveralls, dirty clothes and sleeveless t-shirts are prohibited. Keep in mind that you're on a vessel. Don't leave any cups, glasses or cans unattended. In the mess room and in the corridors we have bins where you can separate your waste. Do not dispose of any waste in the toilets. You will be held fully accountable if the sewage system is blocked. As per our housekeeping rules, do not obstruct or block any life-saving equipment, firefighting equipment and emergency exits. When using the sauna or gym, shower facilities and clothing lockers are available at the sauna entrance. Please clean the devices in the gym after use. Smoking is allowed in the smoking room on deck 6 and the designated smoking area on deck. Here, smoking is only permitted when the vessel is not within a 500 meter safety zone of an offshore oil or gas platform. It is absolutely forbidden to smoke in any other areas aboard the ship. When you hear an alarm on the ship's PA system, take your life jacket and thermal protection AIDS and proceed to the muster station to await further instructions. Even if the alarm is followed by the announcement, this is a drill, you must act as if it is a real-life situation and proceed to the muster station, carrying the above-mentioned items. 
The various alarms are General alarm Seven short and one long signal followed by a verbal announcement on the PA and a constant frequency siren sound on the PA. Abandon ship same as general alarm Fire Constant signal with constant frequency on the PA a bell sound Man overboard Three signals with a constant frequency on the PA sounds like a bell. When you notice an open fire or smoke activate the nearest fire alarm station and call the bridge. Tell the bridge what you see give them your location and take action. In case of thick smoke, kneel down and follow the emergency sign just above the floor to the nearest exit. When there is a medical emergency, inform the bridge. Describe what kind of attention is necessary. For small cuts, etc., there are designated bandage boxes in the duty mess, mess room, engine control room, client office and bridge. The vessel works with a permit to work system. These permits are obtained from the bridge. A permit to work is compulsory for all general work, hot work, including grinding, working at height or using the crane for lifting. These permits are signed by the officer on watch and by the performing authority. They are valid for one shift or a maximum of 12 hours. After completion, the original needs to be closed by the officer of watch and the performing authority. Opposite the reception area, we have the tea card system, showing who is on board and who is not. The color of your tea card corresponds with the side of the ship your lifeboat is situated on. Green for starboard, red for port. When you leave the vessel, it is your responsibility to turn the card with your name so we know who is on board and who is not. Never enter areas marked for authorized personnel. The current ISPS security level is displayed at the reception area. As we want to maintain safety on the highest standard, we have a stop policy which means that any person can stop an unsafe operation. We also have a safety observation card system. A mailbox to collect these cards is at the reception area. This mailbox is empty daily and the content is discussed in the daily meeting. Where possible, immediate steps are taken to improve the situation. The zones on board where PPE is required are marked by the red line on open deck. Beyond this line, it is compulsory to wear PPE, safety shoes or boots, coverall, hard hat, eye protection, gloves. When working overboard or leaving the vessel by means of boat landing or heave compensated gangway, an inflatable life jacket including PLB and, if the seawater is below 14 degrees Celsius, an immersion suit are compulsory. When embarking or disembarking, follow the guidelines. Wear full PPE. Baggage is to be loaded separately. Follow the orders of the person in charge. Wait for clearance of the person in charge to start the descent or climb. Cross over at the highest point of the wave. Keep three points of contact at all times. Do not rush. When on board, follow the yellow path. In the event of an oil spill, activate the alarm and take action with the crew immediately. The SOPEP boxes on deck contain everything you may need for small and large oil spills. We hope you enjoy your stay on our vessel. Look out for your own safety and that of the other occupants on board.